Namaste. Crossing the legs in the Sukhasana looks simple, but there are important anatomical and energetic concepts I'd like to share with you so this becomes an effective way of channeling your energy and keeping your posture healthy. All right, so one leg, the inner leg, actually acts as the bind and to encourage yeah, the other leg yeah, in turning inwards. Yeah? Because when we're sitting cross leg, it's natural, inherent for the low back to tuck under. And that's not healthy for the discs of your spine. And then to compensate, yeah, we tend to fight the chest forward yeah, to uh, lessen the flexion of the lower spine. And that is even more unhealthy because if you push the chest forward without you opening yeah, the lower spine, that will in effect, yeah, bring more pressure to your body. And then you won't be able to relax in this position. Yeah, the Sukhasana yeah, is a happy pose, it's an easy pose, but it's not as easy and it's not as basic as it seems. All right, so the, the inner leg, you now what it does, yeah, it goes under and it will bind and grip yeah, the fleshy part of your calf, and then it will slide down. And at the same time, you may want to lift the hip so you can encourage yeah, the hip to roll inward. All right. So it's actually you know, an active bind, not a limp passive bind. Yeah. So the sarcasm is actually active. That's yeah, sliding down. Yeah. And then maneuvering the hips. Yeah. So you might slide back and then circle around forward until you're going to feel, yeah, the inner leg will grip the front leg so it will not fall out. And then here, yeah, you don't have to uh, fight the spine. Yeah. You just have to shift the weight back because the legs, yeah, create that grip and support. All right. And effectively, what it does, the femur bone roll inward, yeah, the knee go forward and then roll inward, and that will naturally, yeah, allow your sacrolumbar region to maintain its healthy alignment. All right. And if you're still building on the flexibility, definitely, this is easier said than done, yeah, so you might want to use the strap. Now, that lesson I taught you about using the strap, yeah, and supporting your joints and supporting yeah, the spine so you can keep it upright, light at the same time. All right, and then you do the other leg. Yeah, so you have to practice the sukhasana, yeah, both sides. All right. In, 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 yeah. In, 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 and move around in few circles. Good. And then you practice the rest of the technique. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next session. Namaste. No